The kid spots them and takes his seat, then starts leaning out to get a better look fell right out the window. Funniest crap I ever saw. Redditors who work in adult stores, what is the most NSFW thing you have found or a customer has done? Welcome to another story time from Alien Radio, I'm your host Andrew. Since you're already here, why not hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell. If you don't, I will enlist you in the army for the upcoming World War III. Anyways, let's get into the stories. Not me but someone I knew who worked at a sex shop. One day a lady came in and asked to see the Benoit balls, basically metal balls that you put up the vagina. They were in a counter and so he put them on top of the counter, she threw her leg up and put one right in. I remember a buddy of mine who went into a sex shop with a pair of calipers on hand to measure out the diameter of dildos. Mainly because he planned on using them as projectiles for his grenade launcher during airsoft games. Best part is he told the lady at the counter his intentions for the dildo. She said that launching them would hurt like hell, he didn't believe it because he thought that could be changed by adjusting the CO2 pressure of the grenade shell. Let's just say after some extensive testing, he shooting each other with it at different sight, we found out that getting hit by a dildo will knock you off your feet and break a windshield of a car. It was about 4.30 am, I was tired. I tilted my chair back and rested my head on the shelves. I would just rest my eyes a bit. No, of course I wouldn't sleep. There was no one in the store. Just when I started to drift off to dreamland, I heard a loud bang. My mind is trying to think of what could have made that huge noise, I open my eyes to see every dildo in the store flying in the air. So, a pickup truck had slid through the intersection and slammed into the outside wall of the shop, the wall on which racks and racks of dildos. I have never been more befuddled than in the first seconds after I opened my eyes. That's my favorite story. There are far many more gross ones. I have a friend that works at a sex shop. One of the chillest people I know, he's told us lots of stories. He frequently takes pictures of the weird stock they get in and shows it to us, as well as the dumb names of the movies they get in. The story that stood out the most was when he told us a couple came in. It was a guy at least 6 foot 5, and a little girl in a sundress, of age, just small, no bigger than 4 foot 10. They apparently asked for the largest dildo in stock, bought it and left. It was like 14 or 16 inches. Totally absurd. One afternoon I saw a fist fight in an adult cinema. My local porno store had a small cinema out the back. I was a little drunk so I paid my 5 bucks, and in I went. The place reeked of coom and disinfectant. I walked in right as the fight was breaking out. A couple in their mid-40s had decided to duck in the cinema. When all the dudes in the cinema gathered round to watch, the husband didn't like the close attention. He started shoving the nearest guy, and they threw a few punches at each other as his wife yelled at them. The guy behind the counter came in and calmed things down. The couple left, and one of the peep show girls told the husband off. If you duck in an adult cinema of course people are gonna want to watch. The funniest part though, one guy in the cinema didn't stop beating off throughout the whole ordeal lol. OK story time had a friend that worked at a sex store in Canada. She told me this amazing story of a break-in they had. So they show up to work one morning, and the glass door in the back has been smashed by a cinder block, so no alarms have gone off. The two that opened the store go to the security camera footage to see what happened. They start watching the skinny black kid no more than 18 or so crawl in through the hole he made in the glass, he walks around the store looking like he's looking for something, and doesn't even head to the register. The guy goes straight to the ducking super expensive real doll section. Grabs a bottle of lube off the shelf, and proceeds to duck three to four different toys, including a $600 perfect pussy, and a two grand real doll. Guy does his thing, finishes up and just leaves through the hole he made. Story goes the cops recognized him and picked him up a couple days later. Because of the damage to the door and all the expensive crap he literally ducked up, they charged him with damages over 5 grand lol. People jerking off in the rentals room, people returning tapes smeared with lube, and god knows what else, but my all-time favorite was when I ordered Chinese food delivered there, and this sweet little old Asian man delivered it. He had never been in a porn shop before, and was like a kid in a candy store. 
He was asking what everything was and how it worked, and there was lots of laughter till we got to the dildo wall, and he suddenly got furious. He pointed at this super small realistic dildo, think size of a finger, and he starts yelling angrily. What is this? I immediately took it to a racial place in my mind, thinking he thought it was an Asian dildo, but then he yells, you sell dildos for children. I laughed and explained that men and women just have many strange tastes for dildos, but that we only sell to adults. Awkward. I worked at a store that sold novelty items. Our stores also had a large selection of toys and lingerie. One day we had a middle-aged woman come in holding a plush rabbit wrapped up in a baby blanket. She was wearing a new Adidas tracksuit with a torn-up robe over top of it. She came up to the counter and started telling us her husband owned the store, we were a corporation so obviously no single person owned our store. She walked back to the back and proceeded to pick out the largest vibrator we had and wrapped it up in little baby bundle. My manager at the time saw this and walked to the front of the store to stop her while she was on her way out. We had a lot of theft and most of the time if we could just recover the merchandise we would let them go. She stopped her and asked for it back, and the woman started screaming about how her husband said it was okay to come in and take it, and that she needs that vibe to get her baby back. She told us her husband and his new mistress stole her eggs and made a child with them, and they needed that vibrator or else they wouldn't give the baby back. Needless to say we ended up having to call the cops, and it was a big ordeal. When they arrested her and took her rabbit she immediately started crying and screaming they were taking her baby away, and she would get us all because she knew what we were trying to do, and because we supported the legalization of marijuana. We had a lot of things with pot plants on them in our store. Edit. Yes, this was Spencer's. A little late to the game, but my wife used to work at an adult store when we first started dating. She has lots of stories, both creepy and funny, but this is my favorite. The store she worked at was open until the bars closed, so she often dealt with drunks leaving the nearby bars. One night a middle-aged guy walked in and was looking to rent a DVD. After asking my wife a few questions and putting on a super creepy vibe, he picks a couple porns to rent. While she is ringing him up the guy starts inspecting some skimpy lingerie on display near the cash register. After a few minutes he says. You would look pretty good in something like this. Would you ever wear it? Now, my wife has a really sharp wit and doesn't put up with much crap. So without missing a beat she replies. Sir, if I wore that my dick would hang out. The guy's eyes got real wide and he just turned around and walked out leaving his money and DVDs behind. Mine is NSFW in two ways. Some guy tried to return a used vibrator. We did not take returns because well come on, do you want a refurbished vibrator? Ugh. Anyway, this guy started screaming at my manager over a $30 vibrator that his wife broke with her vagina and he wanted another one without paying for it. When my manager explained to him we don't take returns and would need him to pay for the new one, he threw the used vibrator at my manager's head, which she managed to duck, grab the new vibe and booked it to the door. My manager did the dumb thing and followed the guy out of the store, while angrily yelling to the police on the phone. She planned to get the guy's license plate number to report him. He ended up trapping her in the front lobby by blocking the door with his foot, while she is still reporting his description to the police. He then proceeded to grab her by the throat, throw her against the glass, grab and twist her breasts, then run out of the store with his new vibrator. To where his wife was in the car, watching the whole thing and screaming for him to get in so they could go. Just after I got out of the army, in the late 70s, I worked at an adult theater running the projector, doing the lighting for the strippers, cleaning, and fixing crap. For the record, the sound system was the bomb for the day, and there was nothing as grand as cranking up Dark Side of the Moon after hours and tripping out while cleaning the place up. Anyway, aside from your usual run of the mill creeps and weirdos, like the guy who would leave a used, green, condom in the middle of the aisle every Tuesday night, or the stripper who would fill her bag with whipped cream and ping pong balls to launch into the front rows, it was not uncommon to have couples come in and get frisky almost always in the back rows. From the projection booth, you could see them clear as day, most probably had no idea, others were likely hoping to get caught. So, they hire this new kid and I'm teaching him how the projection booth works. 
it doesn't take him long to realize he can see what's going on in the theater, and he takes to spending most of his free time sitting in the window where the spotlights are for the strippers. His third or fourth night there, a couple sits right under the window, gets naked and starts ducking. The kid spots them and takes his seat, then starts leaning out to get a better look fell right out the window. Funniest crap I ever saw. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.